was a learning field. The earth is a place of joy. This was a time of adversity. He refused to endure at a time like this. His faith is much stronger in the Lord. God is our best friend, our savior, our creator, our parents. There is nothing impossible in the sight of God. Yes, he makes promises, though it takes time to come true, but it shall surely come true. Anointed. Sir? What kept you so long in the church? I'm sorry, sir. Don't be stupid. Answer my question. I'm sorry, sir. We had combined service in the church. That's why I stayed long. And that is why you forgot you have works to do in this house? No, sir. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You have to be sorry for yourself. You keep being sorry for the rest of your miserable life. Now go fix me something to eat and be fast about it. Silly thing. to be in this church today. Suddenly, something disappeared out of my stomach and all the pains were gone. And I'm fine now. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm. Ha! The Lord is good. All the time. May his name be praised. Pastor, your daughter, she's a very great instrument to the Lord. Whenever she's ministering the songs, Great things begin to manifest. Amen. May the anointing of the Lord uphold her and strengthen her in the name of the Lord. Amen. And amen. It's good to hear this. Amen. Thank God. We will always testify to this. Amen. amen. For He's always good. So, how long have you been coming to this church? Not much long. I feed. I clothe. 
and I shelter you and your miserable family. Without me, you and your entire family would have ended up in the streets. We are destitute and powered like you belong. You are my servant and you must serve me in all ramifications. Now I want you to wipe those tears and go get me something to eat. Be fast about it. Ah, ah, ah. Lest I forget. If a word of what just transpired here should by any mistake escape from your mouth. I shall not hesitate to throw you and your entire family back to the streets where you all belong. Now leave my presence. Leave my presence. God be the glory. Sister, why are you crying? No, am I crying? No, no I'm not. My eyes, my, my eyes, they're paining me. Okay, maybe something fell in them, but it will be okay. Yeah. But, oh God, I am very hungry. Please tell me you cooked something. Yes, I cooked something. It's, it's in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, just help yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Sarah, you are very stupid. You are so stupid. Because you are a pastor. You now have to leave so early in the morning for your useless pastoral services. Leaving my house so unclean, unkempt, and untidied. Thus making me appear like a pig before my friends who came visiting me. Your so-called church work offers no form of financial assistance to you and does not foot your bill. You listen. We are busy jeopardizing the work that feeds you, shelters you, and clothes you and your useless and miserable children. It had better not happen again. Because if this ever repeats itself, I'll be left with no option but to throw you and your useless and miserable children back to the streets where perverts and poor people like you belong. Compound fool.
office early. Mama, we were sent out of school because we've not completed our school fees. And the principal said we will not sit for our exams tomorrow if we do not complete our fees. How much? How much is the balance? I can't even remember what is outstanding. Seven thousand five hundred. Seven thousand? Hey! This is one minute. Hey! Oh. Eh? Where am I supposed to get that kind of money from? Where? Eh? Hey! You said you would not let your children suffer. God, you said you would be there for me. You promised me. You said if I am steadfast, God, you said you would be faithful to me. God, look at me now. It's me, man, Baba, man, God. I, Jehovah, Jehovah, no, 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 no. I trust you. I believe in you. Please, 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 come, 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 come. Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. I. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, oh, there is God. Because I know he holds my future. My life is what a living just because he lives, because he lives. Mama, what is it? You don't look happy. How did it go? There was no positive response. All the people I went to for help, none of them could win their own. Jesus. I even had to go to your father. You did? And what did he say? Mama, Mama, you just have to go back to, to Oga Kevin. What? Yes, Mama, I understand, but we don't have any choice. We don't. He's our only hope. No, our hope is there, up there. He that is up there is our only hope. Yes, I know, but God will not come down from heaven to help you. Mama, please, you have to go. Please. We don't have any other choice, Mama. I understand, but you just have to go. I lent you some money, which covers your salary for the next three months. And here you are, asking for more money for your stupid children's school fees. Please, I have no other option. That is why I have come to you. Well, I'm so sorry. I cannot lend you my money. Please, I know that the Lord I serve will make your way. And, 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 and Shh, I will shut up. I leave my presence. You old fool. Compound four. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. <sighs> he makes me to lie down the green pastures. He leads me beside the stairs. Your story is God. Go. 
You promise. You promised you would take care of me. You promised that if I worship you, you won't be there for me. Yet here I am. Lost. All alone. I am no one. God help me. I cannot even pay my children's school fees. Every day I am insulted by my landlord. You are my shepherd. I will not want as long as you are my shepherd. But Lord, where are you? Lord, where? I was disgraced out of my husband's house because I was faithful to you. He threw me out because of you, Lord. He threw me out because I was faithful. He just threw me and the children out. Father, there's no one to help me but you. sold my pride and I went to ask him for money. Money to take care of his own children. And he sent me away. That is humiliation. Father, must I be, must I be torn, torn in bits? Must I crawl on the floor before you answer me? Have mercy on your daughter. Have mercy on me, Father, because you are my God. But you know what, King of Kings? I will never regret.
sister. Mm. You really do him. Wake up, let's go to bed. Fine, I'm fine. I'm waiting for Mr. Kevin. He said he was coming with some clothes for me to iron for him. I'm fine, just just go, go. But he's late already. I know. I have to wait for him. Just go, go and sleep. Uh, when what's up now? Uh, what's in the apple? No, I'm not work for you. I did board yesterday. Oh. The couple I said the game they hang. Uh, no, I said the beer, no, I said the hot. As the... I'll bounce back to you, okay? Good morning, sir. Give this money to your mother for your school fees. Thank you, sir. Thank you. May the God we serve reward you abundantly. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so I was saying, eh? Uh, we are that way now. Uh, correct. Correct. He knows when to answer our prayers. Now you take this and balance your fees. Oh, oh God. And then I'll write my exams. Why are there tears in your eyes? I'm, I'm, I'm just happy. The tears of Jeremiah. God has never failed to keep his promise. Because he remembers that he is God. But men do forget. I will give nobody three million out of fifty million. Do you know what you're talking about? Three good million. What do I have left? You know, after when you sign this word, it seems as if. You are left with any other option. Listen, you know why you must comply? If you do not comply, you must have to provide a fresh account number. And you providing a fresh account number will get your client suspicious. And when you get suspicious, you might lose out. Gentle, Lord, 
media we've been doing this. We've been doing this. Why media is just getting his children's on his own? We've been doing this with him. Um, anointed. 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 My name is Fresh. I'm anointed, sir. Sir, I've not seen you before. This is my first time to see you in this church. Have we met? No, 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 we've not met before. I heard there's a singing bird around, so I came to see things myself. And girl, I must confess your voice. <coughs> Thank you, sir. I have not heard such an entice and captivating, passionate voice before. You know that song you just did? You killed it. Really, you did. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's the Lord's doing. Um, kind of like you. Yeah. I want us to be close friends. Oh, yeah. I got that luck, but don't get me wrong. I mean, well. Sorry, sir. I need to run away. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sure you might be wondering why we are here. My friend Prince Otto, who came to the house a few days ago, saw you and he liked you. And he would love to have some words with you in private. It might interest you to know that Prince Otto is a highly respected young man in this society because he's rich. Famous and mighty. You are so lucky that Prince Arthur might want to have a war with you. Listen, I'm so going to take you to Prince Arthur's room right now. When you are with him, I want you to do exactly what he asks you to do. You know, your mother is a compound fool. Do not behave like your mother when you are with him. Give yourself. You know something? I've always known you to be a swollen headed idiot. But I never knew it has got into this geometric extreme. So you had the gods, the audacity, the impetus, the temerity to make an attempt on the life of Prince Arthur. He wanted to rape me. So what? And so what? 
Listen. You will so regret that action you took. Now I want you to sprawl up from that ground and find your way home. When I get home, I'll make you understand the gravity of the offense you just committed. You see him. A whole lot is going through my mind right now. I feel like staying here all day. But I wonder, why is God so silent? Does he enjoy seeing us suffer? Or is our worship not beautiful enough? Our devotion and dedication, is it not enough to earn us his intervention? It is written that we should be thankful at all times. We should be thankful no matter the situation. Tears may last all through the night. But joy, joy will surely come in the morning. God promised to be faithful. I know he will. Tell me, has your faith suddenly gone cold? He that promised will be true. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Your, your words have made my spirit strong again. Let's go. Are you not hungry? Yeah. 
I'm fresh. We're meant to get checked. Oh, that's you. Okay, I remember. Um, sweet, I... I want us to have a chat. Close one. For something serious. Sweet. With due respect, sir. I appreciate the fact that you are a fan. But I am not interested in whatever you have to say. I am a born and gay Christian. A gospel minister. Please, whatever you have to say, I am not interested. Keep it to yourself. is asking us to bring 50,000 Naira before he commences treatment. That is why I'm here. Sarah, why is it that you always run to me each time you have financial constraints? Does it look like I run a charity organization or do I look like Santa Claus to you? Why are you so hopeless and helpless? else to help, please. You are the only one that I can come to. Oh, really? I've suddenly become a bank that you run to to make withdrawals of the money you deposited in me whenever you have financial issues. <laughs> Your fellow pastors are busy making so much money, becoming rich and famous and mighty in the society. While you are here, Wallowing in obscurity, penury, and abject poverty. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You silly fool. Sarah, I want you to leave my presence now. Compound fool. My presence. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'm not here. I want just your mother to leave. I'm not here. I want you to go up there and tidy up my room and be fast about it. Your daughter of a fool. Daughter of a compound fool. If you fail to provide the money needed for his treatment. Oh, come on. You don't have to pretend to be so astonished. Because you know I just said the truth. You had every opportunity to raise the money needed for your brother's treatment. But you chose to keep you your stupid, useless pride. Just one night, my friend, Queen Spato, would have given you the money you needed for your brother's medications. I want you to know something. 
if anything should happen to your only brother, you will have yourself and yourself alone to be blamed. The ball is in your court. Yeah, Prince Ato, uh, I've gotten the alert. I wasn't really expecting that much. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. I'm so certain you enjoyed her. Very sweet, sumptuous little thing. Listen, whenever you need her, just know she will be at your beck and call. Do not hesitate to let me know whenever you need her. It's all yours. Let me get back to you. Let me get back to you. for your brother's uh, hospital bill. <sighs> Good, I thank you. God is awesome. Then I give you all the praise, all the adoration. You are worthy to be praised. You said you will never disappoint your servant. Daddy, thank you so much. It's oh, God. Give me. I need to start heading to the hospital. I need to take this bundle to the doctor so he can start the treatment. Okay, Mama. All right. All right. Are you okay? Yes, Mama. Are you sure? Yes, Mama. I'm fine. I'm excited. Okay. Eat. Okay. Don't worry about me. I'll be back soon. Congratulations. But how is that my business? So, the doctor said they need 80,000 naira to pay before my brother will leave the hospital. You know exactly what to do to raise the money. Prince Alto helped you in the past. And I'm so sure he will still help you this time around. What? I'm sorry, sir. I can't do that. Not again. Sir. Sir, I thought. I thought Pizato gave you 200,000 naira. Sir, please. Please, why don't you just take out of that money to pay, to pay the bills? I beg you, sir. So you actually know the exact amount of money Prince Arthur brought? 
Well, you will not get a dime out of the money. Since you do not want to sleep with Prince Arthur again, you might as well let your only brother remain in the hospital. Now I want you to leave my presence, you dirty daughter of a compound fool. Brother Andrew, please help me. My brother needs to come back home. I've gone to several places and all prove abortive. Please, I don't have anywhere else to go to. That's why I'm here. Please help me. Sister Anointed, I must tell you the truth. Look, you are a pretty young girl and going to people, especially men, is exposing yourself to danger because they might want to take advantage of you before rendering any kind of help. See, I will advise you stay at home. Pray. God will provide. Well, for me, the truth is that I don't have any money. I have only a thousand men. Let me give you down so you maybe you, you, you find your way home. Um, hmm? Just wait for me, I will run away on my prayers. Eh? From me. I told you I am not interested in whatever you have to say. Why are you bugging me? What is it? Please, please can you calm down? Don't tell me to come that I have too many things on my head right now. I don't need anybody to distract me. Please, can you calm down? Calm down? Don't tell me to calm down because I am fed and I am tired. Calm, Leave me alone. Calm down. You're actually putting the same you're shouting. I am shouting. Anointed. What is your problem? What could keep a girl like you here in tears by this hour of the day? You look stressed. You look worn out. You look seriously troubled. You can confide in me and I promise you I can help you. Take me to your room. I am blessed. Blessed to get whatever I want. There's my house. I have two other houses like this somewhere else. The cars are so outside of my cars. I've got connection and contact. I am sorry I know you're a little girl and I don't do your time. What you're thinking is far from what I am thinking. 
I know what your problem is. So take this money, go solve your problem. One more thing. What? Make sure you use this money for what you told me. Yes. Yes, I will. I will, I will use it for it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. I don't know how to show appreciation for what you did for me and my brother. I I just want to say thank you and to tell you that God will bless you more than you can imagine. By the weekend, my brother and my mother will come to say thank you personally to show their appreciation for what you've done. It's okay, there's no need for that. No, sir, really, they really want you to. You don't insist. I'm fine. You know, I've been thinking of something. You have what it takes to better your family. You have what it takes to live a good life. So I wonder why you chose to bother it all and suffer. I'm sorry, sir. I don't, I don't understand. How do you mean? All right. My name is Freshwater, CEO, Ever Records. I'm a producer and singer of Circle of Music. And I want to help you discover your talent, develop and maximize it. Listen, girl, you've got the face, you've got the voice, you've got the talent. I wonder why such a talent should be a waste. Why? Excuse me, sir. Thanks, but no thanks. I am a born again Christian. I don't do secular. I know you do do secular, but can you cut off that hypocritical bullshit? Because it doesn't make sense. The Bible says that the gift of a man makes a way for you. Let me tell you that the gift in you can only make a way for you when you utilize it well. Tell me. You've got the voice, the beauty, the talent. Why are you wasting it in the church for people who do not appreciate it? Wolves in sheep's clothing sitting in the church on suit and tie, but they cannot offer you any help when you are in need. Why do you have to sit in the church with them? Why? You might be right, sir, but God is faithful. Sir, tell me. What will it profit me to gain the whole world and lose my soul? I can't use my God-given talent to serve the world. I am a role model. My soul gives courage, inspiration and deliverance to people. So do you know how many people your soul led to the devil daily? The Bible says... Caught it. Caught it off. Let me tell you. My music do not lead people to destruction. It gives life. It gives happiness. It gives inspiration. It makes people boom. Let me tell you, what makes a man perfect is not what he gives out, but what is in him. That a man is good is his heart. God looks at the heart, he doesn't look at your appearance, he doesn't look at what you say, he doesn't look at where you are, he doesn't look at your background, he looks at your heart, your love for your fellow human being, your love for humanity, that is what God wants. It might interest you to know that I studied from the church. I'm not 
matter of fact, are you going to be the quiet master in my church then? But you can't believe it that those evil people I trusted, they connived and killed my father because my father stood for what is right. And the master's son, the master's son got my younger sister pregnant. Forced my younger sister to go for an abortion and she died during the abortion. Stepping on the landmines where I have stepped on is a total waste of time and I don't want you to do it because it would profit you anything. Use your brain. Use your brain. Young man, I appreciate all the help that you have given this family. And I must tell you that it is only the living God that can pay you back. But as for the request that you just made, I am sorry, I can't give you my consent. I am a servant of God. And my daughter anointed has the anointed gift of music, she's supposed to use it to propagate the word of God. I am not going to allow her to use that voice to entertain the world and encourage immorality, no. It is unbecoming of us. You see, we are actually born again Christians. Real ones, if you get what I mean. Well, I understand you, madam. But I want you to know that I know the Bible too. And the Bible says that whatever a man does and his heart does not condemn him, then he is justified. That same Bible says that a man should utilize every gift that God gives him. You know one thing with our people, we have a way of making a hill appear like a mountain. Well, since you say it's not negotiable, it's all right. I'll not drag it further. Please don't. I will take my leave now. Have a good day. What's that face for? I cannot believe you were actually considering that young man's proposal. I'm sorry, Mom, but I am tired of all this. Oh, anointed. Complaint, complaint, complaint. Please. Anointed, please stop complaining. You're always complaining. Has God not been faithful to us? Has He not provided everything that we ever wanted? I know, Mom, but you will not understand. Mommy, this is the only way for us to get a better life. I don't know why you don't want me to do this. I meant to sit down. Sit. Anointed, I need you to understand something. God is always faithful. He is always there for his children. He will answer us at his own appointed time. He will always make a way. Because it is God. 
God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He walks in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for us.